Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Bronzong. Now Bronzong is a really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, I think it is really usable in some scenarios. Um, it has Steel and Psychic as its uh, typing, which is a good typing overall, and it has amazing abilities to help support it. So Levitate, preventing being hit from the ground type, and then Heat Proof, reducing fire type attacks. Um, and also, as you can have either of those, it means that your opponent uh, will not necessarily know uh, which move to go for. So you could play the game there. Now, Bronzong has a very, very large defense and special defense stats, which is really good. Not so amazing attack stats um, but or speed, but it is definitely usable in a couple of scenarios. Now, I have two um, normal sets and then one Dynamax set. I will admit the Dynamax set is very, very quirky and probably something you wouldn't necessarily use um, in main game, but I thought I will make up just a random one, so I will just give you that disclaimer that it is a quirky set, it probably is more of a troll set than anything else. Right, the first set we have is a light clay setup set, so screen set. We're setting up the light screen and the reflect. Now, obviously, this isn't as good as Aurora Veil, but you're able to set up the light screen or the reflect, depending on what the situation is. Uh, which can be really, really handy. I thought Levitate is the ability, as I said, you've got Heat Proof as well, which could be uh, beneficial to you. And Heavy Metal isn't really a good ability, so I'd say Levitate or Heat Proof um, in, this, in these scenarios. For the third attack, we have Calm Mind. So setting up our, our special defense and our special attack, and I'll explain why um, I've kind of gone for the EV set I have with Calm Mind in a second. Uh, and then we've got a uh, Psychic as our last move, sorry, we've got Psychic as our last move, um, which is a powerful stab, attack, and can hit a variety of different things. Obviously not going to do too well about, uh, about Dark types, so do have like a Fairy or a Fighting type in the back to deal with that. EVs, you've got Max HP and Max Defense, with a Bold Nature, so more Defense, less Attack, and 4 EVs and Special Attack. Now I've got Max Defense because you're raising up your Special Defense with Calm Mind, meaning that um, your defense obviously is out there in the open. So I'd recommend always using Reflect first, um, obviously depending on what the Pokemon is. If you've got um, a Pokemon with a huge special attack stat, let's say Chandelure, you want to use Light Screen first. Um, but Reflect if it's a physical Light Screen, if it's a special, um, but raise up your special defense using Calm Mind as much as you can. And you might be able to sweep um, depending on the situation. Um, probably more of a late game kind of uh, sweep opportunity, but you can come in early game and set up screens, which could really benefit some of your other Pokemon. The second set I've gone for is a set that I typically use. I've used this um, for a couple of years now. It's quite a generic set uh, for a Bronzong, and it does require you to transfer a Bronzong from the previous generation, but it is definitely worth it if you have it. Uh, so I've gone for Heat Proof as the ability here, just again showing off a different ability. Uh, we've got Rocky Helmet as the item, so essentially if you get hit by a physical move, the opposing Pokemon is going to um, lose a bit of health. Um, that's a move that hits you, that is. And I've put Stealth Rock on here to allow you to start setting up hazards, because they can be really, really handy, especially for things like fire types um, that might come in and cause a pain for you. Um, toxic to start racking up damage across several different Pokemon and potentially for some switch outs. Zen Headbutt, which is a really powerful psychic type attack, and ha also has a chance to flinch. You're unlikely to outspeed anything though, so uh, I wouldn't count on any flinches. And then, just in case you get down low, um, you've got Explosion there, which can potentially take out um, a different Pokemon, any Pokemon, um, yeah, later on. Maybe if they've been dwindled down a little bit and you need to get rid of them, you can just click Explosion and just get rid of it. EVs, I've gone for max HP and max defense with an impish nature, so more defense and less special attack and four EVs in attack. So yeah, the whole point of having high defense on this thing is to allow for that Rocky Helmet to uh, take place. And the Dynamax set we have here, as I said, it's very, very quirky. Now, I've put Gyro Ball and Earthquake on here, and essentially when you Dynamax, um, Gyro Ball will increase your defense stats, and Earthquake will increase your special defense stats, going to their max moves. Now, you can do one of each, and then I would say, if you're running max special defense, um, do another Gyro Ball or uh, max Steel Spike, and if you're doing um, max defense, run the max Brown move, which I can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, we've got Leftovers as our recovery here, and again, we've got Toxic, so you would need to transfer this Pokemon. 
And I've put Stealth Rock on here um, to set up hazards if you wish, but you could also put an attacking move on here, um, such as Zen Headbutt if you wished, um, depending on how you want to run it. So yeah, you can either go max HP and max defense, or max HP and max special defense on this thing, or even split it across the middle. Uh, that is entirely up to you, but um, as I said, very much a gimmicky set if you can set up your defenses, um, you're less likely to take as much damage, so you can then toxic um, the Pokemon and you're not going to have um, anywhere near as much damage. If you want to make it even more gimmicky, you probably could take off the Stealth Rock and put Protect on, um, allowing yourself to heal up a little bit more and the Toxic start racking up. Um, and then you've got Earthquake as well to hit things like Poison types that could be a pain for you. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.